on my list. It's time for another news. We take a look at the news stories that may not be on your radar, but should be. A tractor trailer that was carrying toilet paper crashed and caught fire near Dallas, spilling its precarious and precious cargo all over the interstate. The driver was fine, but oh my God, those poor toilet paper rolls. People came to scoop up debris more than if a Brinks truck would have spilled hundreds on the highway. Now, I remember the days when toilet paper was so plentiful, people threw it on a house as a prank. Nowadays, if somebody did that, the owner would say good looking out and climb the ladder and salvage it all. In other news, a Los Angeles train engineer was arrested for allegedly derailing a locomotive moving at high speed near the Navy hospital ship US NS Mercy because he believed a conspiracy theory that the government is covering up the train's true purpose. Yeah, in case you didn't think there was such a thing as too woke, this is it. Somebody take away this man's access to YouTube videos and social media. We are already in a pandemic, so what is he trying to stop other than help for people who need it in this train engineer's career? This is the worst train plot since Denzel's Unstoppable. And lastly, a reporter for the One America News Network was kicked out of the White House press briefings after one of their reporters allegedly broke the social distancing rules put in place and stood in the briefing room aisle. Who comes to report on the coronavirus? and breaks the first rule of reporting on the coronavirus. This reporter even looks like she's saying, do you know who I am? No, nobody knows who you are, which is why you had to stand in the aisle. Let me know what you think of these stories using the hashtag GetUpDC. Now let's go to Howard for a check on your phone.